Good morning, I'm Ryan Madrick. Here are the headlines you need to know to get your Sunday started. Kansas City police are trying to figure out how a man wound up dead on the train tracks. Railroad personnel found the man just before 10 last night at Gwinnett and Montcall. Police haven't said how the man died. They're asking anyone who may have seen what happened to call the tips hotline at 816-474-TIPS. You can remain anonymous. A man is dead after being hit by a car last night. Police say someone driving a Cadillac sedan hit and killed a 68-year-old man in the street near 30th and York. The car then turned and hit a woman before crashing into a yard. The driver was arrested. The woman is in serious condition. In Missouri, there are just over 6,800 cases of COVID-19 in the state, with 283 people dying from the virus. In Kansas, we've tracked just over 3,100 cases of COVID-19 in the state. 117 people have died. The latest battle against the state of Kansas and church gatherings has come to an end. The state reached a settlement with two churches who sued over executive orders limiting the size of religious gatherings amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Under the settlement, First Baptist Church in Dodge City and Calvary Baptist Church in Junction City agreed to follow safety protocols the court put in place. While the Velocity Church in Lawrence had to close their doors, the hearts are wide open. The church created Serve 785, an outreach program that aims in serving their community in any way they can. From giving money to restaurants who are feeding people in need to giving out essential food items, their next project, getting Wi-Fi hotspots to students who do not have internet access. Organizers with the program say it was an easy decision to put others first during this time. 41 Action News is your home of the Kansas City Chiefs, and this morning we're welcoming six new players into Chiefs Kingdom. Running back Clyde Edwards-Alaire, linebacker Willie Gay Jr., tackle Lucas Neong, defensive back Legarius Sneed, defensive end Michael Dana, and cornerback Bo Peep Keys. All are coming to Kansas City. We've got a full breakdown of the draft on our website, kshb.com. You'll also find it on our 4th and 1 podcast. Those are your Sunday morning headlines. For more, tune in to our next broadcast, 41 Action News at 10.